Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to bring with you a project that I want to do for a while but didn't have time. So, all right, let's turn this around and take a look. So that is, if you haven't been here before, this is my new center console, which on the bottom house the 100 amps hour lithium lipo, lithium phosphate uh, battery inside there, and then all the goody outside controller, distribution box, and 400 watt inverter. What missing is one of these uh, <coughs> either 12 volt accessory outlet and uh, USB. I will install that. See this little space right here? I will install that there. But that's not what we're doing today. What we're doing today is, as you can see, ever since I changed to this configuration, this bed on this side, I used to have uh, my kitchenette on this side, and the bed is on where I'm sitting right now. So I kind of miss that table. But at the same time, I enjoy having this lounging chair that I'm sitting on right now. So of course, I'm prepping for my trip coming up, a field trip, meetup, coming up soon for this year. Because when I travel, I will bring my bike. So these two seats will probably be out. And if they are out, I'm not gonna have my, uh, remember I will use this as my, uh, this seat as my table for cooking. But what if I don't have it with me, right? What's the point if I don't have it, my table in here and how I'm going to cook inside? I could cook on the floor, you know, but uh, that's no fun. So what I'm doing today is making one of those uh, portable table. Of course, you know me, I always uh, re I reuse it and repurpose something else to make it work for me. All right, let's go check it out. So at first, I was going to use the two leg, both of them, but I decided only to use one. So this is the original leg of one of the kit. I will put a picture up here somewhere of that kit that uh, I kind of like inherit from a lady that I built her bed platform for her. And she let me have this. And these are metal, lightweight, so very sturdy and lightweight. So I'm going to use one of these legs, which I already did. And you can see this side, it's a little bit shorter than that side. There's a reason to it. I will show you why. So these are the tools I'm going to need to build it. These are basic tools. Like I said, most of my build, I only need the zigzag and a drill and the drill bit and the tape measure and, of course, pencil. But I use a bunch of other stuff so I can uh, make the job easier. A hacksaw is easy to cut through metal. This is to smooth out the, the front end. <clears throat> and if you look at this, if you've been following me, you this look familiar to you? Because it is. That used to be my kitchenette on the side where I can sit on the bed and do uh, my prep food. But now as you can see, I already chop up them up. And the only thing I need is this piece right here. Plus I have to do a little bit modification in order to work this into the <clears throat> called uh, fold away table, all right? Right now it's not finished yet. It's just on a uh, rough cut. So as you can see, I built a little uh, two by two here <clears throat> to have two holes which will fit over to these posts right here. You, yeah, you can see that's a 20, to, 20 and a half inch cut. And that is 21 inches. So they kind of like half inch offset. Because you know, minivan floor is not flat. It's kind of sloped downward. So let's go. This will fit into the cup holder where I'm sitting on the lounging chair. And these two holes will those two and right there all right let's go put it in the vehicle and see how what it look like <clears throat> all right 
So this is my bag. Cause this is the new, the most current configuration with the lounging chair over here. All right. So when I'm not using the table, the leg will be stored here, and the table uh, top will be stored here. All right. Let's me put this together, and I will bring you back what it looked like. All right. So this is how it looked like. If I'm just gonna sit in here, this is where I'm gonna prep my uh, food. Put the stove on it. See, it will fit the stove. And I can cook sitting in my lounging chair. All right, let's go a little bit closer and take a look what it look like on the bottom. As you can see right here, this is how it's gonna sit. Yeah, it's kind of awkward that uh, it's gonna interfere with my leg room a little bit, but. I'm, I'm comfortable, but this will give the table a little bit more sturdiness going on. I could make uh, the top surface a little bit bigger, then that way it will come out this way. But uh, you know me, I'm not wasting wood. So for now, this is good enough. So I'm, of course, I'm going to be painting. It's already smooth, routing edge. So I'm going to paint this, gonna get, give it a good uh, coat of paint. And then on over here, see this, there's a two by two sit exactly inside this cup, so it ain't moving nowhere. Yeah, it won't move this way or it won't move this way. Got enough room in here to sit. All right, let me go back and sit in there. All right, here's the view from uh, the lounging chair. Not sure you can see this. Let me lift it up, see? It was sitting here. And, uh, I didn't. I could make it tighter, but it's not going anywhere. Pretty steady. See, that's why I want this piece to be here, so it'll be steady. Of course, the <clears throat> right here. I can do my cooking from here. Oh, it's upside down. See, from here, still have room over here to prep food. And it doesn't cost me uh, two, three hundred dollars for one of those, uh, what you call them? Island table or whatever it is. Yeah, those, those, those table type is expensive. And it doesn't take up uh, hardly any room in here. There it is. That's the project I have for this week, which is take me roughly about an hour, an hour and a half because, you know, I never made this before, so it take a little bit of time. But next week I will show you uh, how I'm gonna install the outlet, power outlet for my house battery to make it uh, more complete. All right, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.